The certificates you create are stored in Keychain. This certificate gives you the power to create apps on the machine the certificates exist on. To set up new certificates, go to developer.apple.com. Choose Member Center and go into the iOS provisioning portal. Choose Certificates on the left. If this is the first time you've used your iOS developer account, then there should be no certificates when you reach this section. You need to make two certificates, one for development, which is the ability to make apps for you to test, and one for distribution, which is the ability for you to make apps to submit to Apple, hence the name distribution. Choose Request Certificate. On the next screen, you will see that you need to choose a file. In order to create this file, you will need to launch the Keychain Access application. You can quickly find it by clicking on the magnifying glass in the top right corner of your screen and begin typing in the word Keychain. Once you see the app rise to the top of the list, click on it to launch it. Once it launches, choose Keychain Access from the menu bar. Then Certificate Assistant, request a certificate from a certificate authority. Type in the email you use to log in to developer.apple.com. Then under the common name, type in your name. For request is, choose Save to Disk. You do not need to enter a CA email address. Choose Continue to make the certificate signing request. Save this file to your disk. You will also need this file to set up push notifications, so make sure you save it somewhere you'll logically remember. Let's take a step back for a minute and explain what this process is all about. Apple wants to make sure that only people who have the correct credentials can make apps on their own machines and test them on specified devices. To safeguard that process, they have set up the certificate system. Essentially, what we have just done is make a file using Keychain to request certificates. Once we upload that file, Apple will make us another file that gives your machine the green light to sign or make valid apps for testing. Now that we have made the certificate signing request, you can go back to the development section we were in and click the Choose button. Navigate to the place you stored your certificate signing request and choose that file. Click Submit in the bottom right once the file has been chosen. You will now see that the status of the file is in Pending Issuance. Refresh your browser page to change the status. You can now click the Download button. Now that we have made the development certificate, we can make the distribution certificate. Click on the distribution tab. Choose request certificate. Click on choose file. Select the same certificate signing request we made before. Choose submit, refresh your page, and download the file. In your downloads folder, you should now have a distribution and a development certificate. When you double click these certificates, they will automatically load into Keychain. Choose certificates in the bottom left corner to see your certificates. Make sure you don't have any doubles in here. If you have any other old distribution or development certificates, you should remove them or you won't be able to make an IPA file. Now that the certificates are set up, you can make the provisioning profiles that are app and device specific. 